All right, salutations, ladies and gentlemen. I uh, I don't even know who's out there. Uh, I just wanted to, wanted to show you what I'm up to. Uh, here's the old backyard. There's the old Bronx life I live here. We still got a little bit of daylight here at eight o'clock, uh, something or another. Um, what I'm gonna attempt to do right now is just, you know, I am making this little fan film. You might have, you might be, I hear, might be hearing about it, might not be. I don't know. But basically, I am playing Static Shock in the uh, movie that I'm coming up with. And uh, I gotta say, it's evolved over the time that I've been working on it for the last maybe four years. I've been doing this thing, and uh, it started off very much something that I was just gonna do for 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 a lark, nothing nothing really serious. But now I think that I have the tools and I have the capability to actually make something that could almost look professional. It's not gonna be professional, but. I can, I can try to emulate it. So, um, I forgot the shield. Hold on. I'm going to be right back. I get that. This is all about testing the, how the costume looks. So, let me just pause this. If I can figure out where the pause button is. Which one is the pause? All right. Okay, we are back in business. Sorry about that. If you're going to play Static Shark, you're going to need one of these. I used to have a different one. You're probably going to see two different versions inside of the uh, final film. But the other one, I threw it away, so uh, I bought a new one. That one's more looking like a trash can lid, so I guess it fits better. I'm going to have a different prop. I'm going to get some sort of a cheap Rubbermaid uh, lid and then spray paint it to be metal metallic and uh, use that for more of the stunt stuff. I can assure you that this will be something to watch. So if you are out there and you are interested in what I'm doing, please just stay tuned. I'm going to be start heavily shooting the film in uh, about the next three weeks or so. I need to get prepared for it, and then I got to get in shape. The last shot of the film, the last battle, is going to demand that. So that's going to be the case. So I just wanted to test out and see how this costume looks on camera. These are the, these are the gloves. You know. uh, very unique gloves that you'll notice in the, in the final trailer film, I should say. Very interesting gloves I bought. So, what I'm going to do, you know, is I'm going to have powers. Uh, static shot powers. And, uh, you know, you're not going to really Hopefully, with the effects that I'm using, you're not going to really know about it. I'm just going to you know, randomly have powers like that. And it'll be kind of seamless inside of the final film. And uh, a lot of stunt work, a lot of crazy, crazy, crazy stunt work. And uh, I'm going to try to you know, make the most out of this hairdo. I've never had my hair this long in my whole life, so this is a first for me. So, yeah, you know, this is essentially what Static's gonna be all about. It's gonna be a film that's, you know, very cool. It's gonna be a, a badass movie, and, you know, you know it's, it's gonna have cameo ro characters in it. You know, I'm giving back. This is what this is all about. I'm giving back to people like all the actors out there in Hollywood. Michael Jack White. I grew up watching Spawn. You know, all these things. And uh, so when you have that stuff to grow up on, and it's so cool and so amazing, you, you know... I think that we, it's just long overdue for a Static Shock movie. Long overdue. I don't know what's going on. We were on like the 50th Transformers. You know, it was like it wouldn't hurt 
And now Slate is practically Static Shock the movie, but it's still not official. Uh, we are seeing new Unbreakable coming out. We're seeing uh, a lot of comic book oriented film. Spider-Man has his like 50th version now. They they keep making a new Spider-Man, so they haven't even made one Static Shock. That's that's what that's the in, that's the indication that something's off. Static Shock's a very popular character. I uh, I read the YouTube comments all the time, and uh, it's like. You know, people are saying, why isn't there a movie of this guy? He's really cool. So, I'm going to do it. And I will, I'm not going to lie, I'm 31 years old right now. I've always been very cherubic and youthful looking. So, I'm going to try to use that to get away with uh, not being my real age. Now, this is a cool little feature. I need to, I need to see this on camera, so this is pretty much why I'm doing this video. I want to see how this little. I got. I got. I. I decided to give Static a utility belt. It's kind of gratuitous, but I said whatever. I, I gave him something down there. I just need to see what it looks like on camera, so that you know it'll be there. Um. And that's that. You know, that's just one thing I wanted to do. It's just a have him have some sort of little Ghostbusters reference. That's a reference to the Ghostbusters uh, Ecto, what do you call it? Ecto, uh, Ecto 1A, how it has that scrolling sign on the side. I found a scrolling LED badge on eBay and I said, okay, I'm making a belt with a scrolling sign. And it's kind of his advertisement, I guess. He's trying to tell people who he is and what he can do, so. Well, it's going to be a lot of work. I'm motivated, though, because, you know, I don't have a job, so this is all I got right now. And I, I think it's like I really want somebody to do it, you know, <laughs> if not me, somebody. And there have been quite a few Static Shock films on the Internet, and they suck. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. They're garbage. You know, it's just, even the one that has a professional actress in it, I saw that one where Static, um, the, 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 the girl inside of that film is actually an actress who's been in big budget films. And I mean, Superman, uh, the next movie, whatever the hell it was, was uh, Superman vs. Batman, she was in that. And, or was she in the first movie? She was in Man of Steel, I think. Maybe she was in both. Honestly, yeah. Now that I think about it, she was in both of those films. And she was, she, she for whatever reason, yeah, I'm crazy about research and stupidness, but I researched her, her actual credentials, and yeah, that, that chick is actually an, a real actress, and, and she's, in, she's friends with this, this guy, and this guy decided to make a Static Shock uh, fan film. So there's an actual fan film with a legit actress in it on the internet. You can watch it anytime you want. And she's good in it. Yeah, she's real good. Um, yeah, I mean, I just want to do it because I've been promising to do it. And, and I don't want to be one of those guys who's got his YouTube page up like a freaking uh, skeleton in the desert, abandoned. I don't want that to happen. I want it to be like, oh, I promised it years ago. It actually materialized. And whatever happens after that, I don't care. But... It's not going to be, don't, don't expect it to be amazing. It's, I can, it don't, don't, is there going to be no Rocka Rocka production? None of that big time YouTuber with special effects budgets and all that stuff. No, I, I don't. I'm a guy who's just, you know, struggling at the bottom of the freaking sewer here, trying to scrape together this little movie, and that's all it is. So... Uh, stay tuned, keep on, you know, just trying to stay upbeat in this dark times. This is, this is, you know, we need heroes now more than ever. And that's just the way it is. We don't have heroes anymore. The age of heroes is dying. And I think that 
I'm, you know, we need Superman, we need Batman, we need Spider-Man, we need these guys to help us lift us up from where we are. Remember when things were better, and I'm hoping that I can be a part of that to some extent. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'll see you later.